what is going on everybody and welcome to your 28th Google Chrome extension development tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our screen recorder which I decided to code in the last tutorial now there's a thing I missed which I should probably have tell you in the starting of the series the difference between an extension and an application in Google Chrome now for this series I guess I should be saying the starting line as welcome everybody to your 28th Google Chrome app development tutorial now I'll just give you a quick introduction to what is the major differences between an app and an extension but I promise you guys that I'll be explaining that um, more precisely and accurately in my future tutorial just after this series okay so a quick difference between an application and an extension is nothing but an extension kinda just gets and sits in your browser in your Google Chrome browser and just adds some functionality to the Chrome extension itself so I guess in whatever the past we have developed extensions like Twitter social toolkit and my this extension deadlockers what it do is I just select some text right click and I used to get a select here the option to share this text on the Twitter so that kinda increased the functionality of the browser to do some more things it could not before but an application is kinda has more power than an extension because an application acts like a link between a browser and the operating system itself so since Google Chrome is a software installed on your computer an application can harness more of the power of Google Chrome and thus has access to more of the APIs but that doesn't necessarily mean that extensions are useless in some cases you would like to use extensions but in some cases you could not use extensions because of permissions issues so in this example which we were doing the desktop capture API we cannot use the extension module because extensions simply doesn't the Google Chrome doesn't allow extensions to access the screen of the user to record the screen unless you use some um, HTML5 canvas to do that so let's get started and first of all I'd like to show you guys a little change I brought in my manifest.js1 file and I'll just zoom that a little bit if that helps so manifest version 2 is mandatory name should be whatever you like to keep description as it is then version is just the version of your application and this app this app might sound something new to you guys but this is nothing new in the extension what we need to what we used to do is like this right but in an application we have to just add another kind of object into our manifesto.json inside we can include the background and the scripts now this background script which we have background.js right now as blank script we would be inserting some of the calls and APIs which we would be using to um, launch our screen recorder and that's it pretty much for the manifest and the permissions as you all know we need desktop capture permission from the Google Chrome to use the plugin alright so what is this app.js now this app.js and this index.html would be linked together and what would be this index.html is doing I'll just show you in a minute so first of all inside our background.js okay so here's my extension page and I've already configured it to uh, load inside the browser you see this is the same extension this is the name and here it is version 1 okay so now if you see this is an application and this is an extension so you see that in an extension I get details and options options I can obviously add here as well because I don't have any options page right here in the manifest but if you see then the in the app section I have got one more link as launch now this launch thing this launch only comes with applications because you kinda never really launch an extension 
you only launch some applications because extensions are just sitting in your browser but applications provide a rich interface to the user so if you see then any of these extensions don't have a launch link in them except which are applications and I'll just show you one application right now um, okay so I guess I don't have any of the application right here which has got a launch link by default embedded inside it so anyways we could actually remove this launch link as well and I'll show you that how to do that but for now we need this link because I don't have any icon in the toolbar to launch my application okay so now let's just navigate to background.js and let's just do some stuff whenever this launch link is clicked so what we can do is we can add a event listener to the click of this launch link and then we can do whatever we like okay so let's get started so in the background.js we already have access to the chrome apis so just type chrome dot app now instead of extension i wrote app because now we are working with a chrome application and now just type dot runtime which says at the runtime of this application on launched and I guess this should be a small t on launched dot add listener now we just supply inside a function which would be called now what this is doing this this line right here is saying chrome the browser application which is the current application runtime at the runtime on launch this on launched event is fired whenever this launch link is clicked right here so whenever this is clicked what we want to do is we want to run this function right here and we do have access to all chrome apis inside this function as well so let's look at some of them now the best way i could describe this is to just console log a little message um, link clicked and let's reload this and just check the inspect views of the background page of the application I got console radio here let's click on the launch icon now you see that I got four calls to the link click because I clicked this launch icon four times so if I click it another time then you'll see that it changes to five that means I clicked it again so that's kind of working so let's make some more interesting things right here instead of just console logging a debug message now let's say I want to create a window pop-up so what I can do is I'll just type chrome dot app dot window dot create now this is yet another API call which I'm doing right here chrome application now make sure to keep a habit whenever we are calling an application you see right here we would not be using extension right here anymore but instead we would be using app and if you don't understand any difference between extension and applications right now there's no need to worry because I don't want you guys to be overwhelmed with the information I'll be telling you so just consider this right here just like a normal extension with some extended API support and I'll be explaining you guys the difference between an application and an extension very soon so anyways now once we have access to this API this would accept two arguments the first one would be the file you want to launch now this is important now what this would do is let's say if I type um, my file.html now this API would look in the same folder for any file which is my file.html now since there's no file right here this function would fail so the reason I created index.html is that to call this chrome.app.window right here so now you know that whenever um, this link would be clicked this file would be launched inside the browser so let's see if I type here hello 
inside the bold tags I'll reload this extension and click on launch okay so let's see what went wrong oh you see it was a little bit of delay but the application launched so you see whenever I will click on this launch this launch right here it will give me uh, an application which is kinda just displaying a hello now if you see then this is not this doesn't look like a regular Google Chrome page because the icons different the context menu is different it says reload app simulate browser restart inspect element and inspect background page so this kinda is a app interface of Google Chrome and we would be uh, manipulating this page to display our screen recorder very soon so the next thing I have is I told you that we got two arguments right here the first one being the file name to launch and the second one being the options when this this file is created as a pop-up now this the second one is just an object which I guess we just need bounce right here and bounce is a kind of English word which just means boundaries and boundaries by boundaries we mean that a specific width and height of the container should be there so if I say the width of the page should be um, somewhere like 500 pixels and the height should be 500 as well and don't specify the word pixel it will just pick up the pixel itself so now what would happen is that this would launch this index.html page with the width and the height of 500 pixels so if I go to the browser and reload the extension click on launch again so you see that this this window right here is 500 pixel by 500 pixel and if I go to console and type window window dot inner width then it gives me 500 and window dot outer width would give me f oh sorry this should be inner height would give me 500 as well now outer if you go to my JavaScript tutorials I have explained there outer would give you the boundaries as well so we don't want the boundaries I just I'm just concerned with the content area which is 500 by 500 okay so that was just a confirmation check whether the options are working right or not so that's pretty much it with starting with our desktop capture app and I'll be explaining more and doing more code to this application and we would be completing this extension or sorry the application very soon so till then stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then